At first glance, it may seem like Carlos Kaiser had an impressive career. Over 10 years, he was on the books at some top clubs across the world, including Flamengo, six-time winners of the Brazilian top league, Mexican giants Puebla and French side Gazelec Ajaxio. But Kaiser was a scam artist. Having realized that he simply did not have the skills to make it at the top levels of the professional game, he had come up with an unorthodox method of enjoying the life of a footballer. Kaiser created a network, befriending players at top Brazilian clubs who could recommend him to their managers. He also formed close ties with sports journalists, who could write articles about his ability and achievements. Once he had successfully duped a club into signing him, Kaiser put the next stage of his plan into operation. Arriving at his new club's training ground, he would feign muscle pain, claiming he needed time to build up his fitness before taking part in games. Then, in physical training, he would impress coaches with his pace and fitness. It was another part of the deception, the Brazilian kept himself in peak physical fitness so that he could impress coaches with his speed and stamina. He also made extensive use of a fake mobile phone, pretending to take calls from his agent offering transfers to foreign clubs. Once or twice, Kaiser's scam was nearly exposed. After signing for second division French side Gazelec Ajaxio, the club organized an open training session to show off their new acquisition. Fearing he would be exposed, the conman fired each ball that came to him into the crowd whilst kissing the club's badge. Kaiser only spent a few months in France, but one of his journalists wrote an article claiming he had spent eight years with the club. Back in Brazil with Rio de Janeiro-based Bangu, Kaiser was ordered onto the pitch during a match after the club's chairman grew tired of their star man never actually taking to the field. In a panic, Kaiser saved himself by diving into a fight with opposition fans, earning himself a red card before he had to enter the field.